So we'll do a kind of variation on our normal warm up. See how that works today. <clears throat> so feet hip width apart. Stack your bones, get the core activated with the ribs going towards your spine and up and lengthen through your spine, crown to the ceiling. Remember, shoulders are down towards your waist and sink evenly into your feet. Focus inward on your yoga perspective. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down. Bring your hands behind you and clasp them. Lift your heart, hands toward the floor, getting those shoulders even more open. Pivot over as you exhale and just deepen into that forward position as much as your back wants to stretch today. Move your head around, get your neck releasing. And then knees bent and work your way slowly up. And just feel your spine move into place one bone at a time. Coming into the back bend again as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back, but not too far to crunch your neck. Keep stretching that back of your neck. And then on an inhalation, come on up, release your arms, and take a moment just noticing your inner changes as your body adjusts. And again, inhaling, reach out, hands to your heart, Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then again, hands behind and clasp the other way. Stretch your head back, lifting your heart. Pivot over, exhale. And again, just let that back get released. Take a few breaths, move your head around. Get ready to slowly wind your way up. And just breathe with it as you inhale to the top. And again, stretch your head back just gently and pull those shoulders down. And inhale back upright, release your arms, and just once more take a moment to find that yoga awareness. And then one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the body facing the front and lean over for a side stretch. Lengthen out through the fingertips, slide the fingers down towards your leg a little bit more. And then inhale back up, exhale and release. So those ribs are a little more stretched out. Let's do the other side. Arm out, palm up, arm above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get a good stretch started and lean. Remember, don't lean that shoulder forward, keep it back. Nice straight stretch so that those ribs are opening and the spine is moving sideways. And then again, inhale up and release. And then lengthen your spine and just a little twist for our starting motion on the spine. So follow your hands from one side to the other. And just get that spine moving. Remember, you want the base of the skull, base of the spine stretching apart so those bones have room to move into the twist. And just go a little further at each end if that works for you today. And then back to the center and bring your hands to your heart. Looking at your hands, inhale, bringing them up. A nice little upper body back bend with those hands coming back. Exhale, follow your hands all the way down. Just in the process, not rushing to the forward position. Lift your sitting bones, pivoting right there at the hip joint, right at the top of your thigh. Slide your hands up on your shins under your knees and get that halfway up stretch going. So knees straight, elbows straight, and spine straight, including your neck. Get a good stretch there. And then exhale back down, palms together. And again, inhale, following them all the way up. Looking at your hands, another back bend. And exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel a little bit more stimulus. And we're going to do our pelvic tilts. So angle your feet out just a little bit. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, and hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure, 
just positioning your shoulders right above your toes. And then we'll do our pelvic tilts. So push the sitting bones back, getting that pelvis really moving as you bring the ribs forward and the heart forward and look to the front. And then ribs back and sitting bones tucking down and forward so that whole pelvis is moving. And inhale again into the back bend and exhale into the forward bend. So once again, as we do this, remember just follow your breath. Let your whole spine get that nice range of motion going, as well as moving that whole hip and pelvic area and expanding your heart, using your whole lung capacity as you move through that range of motion. Toes are spread, not gripping. And remember, you're not putting a lot of pressure in the knees, just trying to keep those shoulders right above your toes, not moving everything around, just the spine and the hips. And then when you're forward, pause and come back up and into mountain and pose. Take a moment once more, just feel all that activation through your spine, through your hips. And we're gonna do a little more hip things. So separate your feet just a little bit more. And again, toes toward the outsides. <clears throat> we're gonna bend the knees toward the toes and push the sitting bones way back. And you can bring your hands again to just above your knees or down onto your shins or all the way to the floor, depending on how deep you wanna go in that little squat. And then inhale and come all the way back up. So kind of a standing frog. Exhaling as you come down as far as you'd like and inhaling as you come up. And just feel your whole body working, especially through that lower hips, knees, and ankles. So just breathe with it, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, going down. And you can go faster if you'd like to really build up a little bit more circulation and energy flow. Or you can do it gently if your knees don't want to go too deep. So remember, you can go just a little, or you can go as far as the floor. And remember, as you come up, just kind of expand across the heart with those elbows a little bit back, getting that upper body open a little bit more as well as working those hips and legs. And then the next time you're up, pause there, turn your feet back to the front and step into mountain pose. Once more, just noticing where in your body things are working today. And another gentle one, just cross your arms behind your back. And again, bending your knees toward your toes, not beyond some circles with that hip and lower back area. So just everything moving around, keep breathing with it, relax your shoulders down. And just let those hips circle as wide as they'd like. Notice the knees and ankles working as well. And then stop and go the opposite direction with your circles, just balancing things. Don't forget to breathe with it. And of course, lengthen through your spine always. Nice opening through your heart with those shoulders back as well. And then again, coming back up into mountain pose. We're going to step even wider. And then we're going to turn the whole legs out and get your feet as open as you can with those knees bending above your ankles. And remember to keep the knees back, not leaning forward, so that you're supported with the bones. So a little stretch in that inner thigh area, upper body straight up. So a little kind of horseback riding position. And then sink maybe a little deeper. So sitting down straight down and feel what's going on in your body. Spread your toes, keep breathing. Upper body straight up, not leaning forward. And then straighten your knees. And then bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, overhead and look up. And then sink in your, in your knees as you bring your hands back down and 
across each other in the front. So remember, knees are back, body is straight up and down. And inhaling, standing, arms coming up, just crossing slightly. Exhaling, sinking back down. And again, hands crossing, but the opposite way, just for variety. And inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sink down. And another up. And come back down. One more up. And sink. And just notice what's going on in your body here. And then bring your arms out at shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out, palms up. Bend your elbows, come into goddess position. So fingertips straight up, elbows slightly back. Knees right above your ankles, so pull them back a little bit. Body straight up toward the ceiling. Take a moment. And straighten those knees, arms out and down, and back into mountain pose. Once more, just take a moment, feeling what's going on internally for you. And hands to your heart, let's step to the end of the mat. And inhale, bringing your hands up, a little bit back into the back bend, as much or as little as you like looking at your hands. Exhale and coming all the way down into radical. Hands up into that halfway up stretch. Everything nice and straight. Bend your knees, hands under your shoulders. Right foot stepping way back into lunge position. So get that body as straight as you can from the heel through the knee, through the hip, through the shoulder, and out through the top of your head. And then for a little more hip work, bring that knee down, slide the toes back, sink that hip toward the floor, a little stretch on that hip flexor. Just breathe and relax. This knee on the front is right above your ankle, remember, not caving in or out, just straight. And then if you love the stretch on that back leg, and remember, you can also have pattern under your knee if you need it. We can bring your hands to your front knee and straight up with the top of your head and sink down. Or bring your chest forward and look up for even a little bit more stretch. And then face forward, hands back near your foot. Tuck the toes under, lift your knee, not your hip, and come back into your lunge. Push back through the heel and then push forward. And relax and ragdoll. Feel that hip release that we were stretching. And hands together, inhaling. And again, coming all the way up and into a nice back bend as we get ready to do that other side. So once again, the chest is high, shoulders are down, head slightly back, but don't crunch your neck. Keep stretching it out. And just gaze up towards your hands. Lift your heart as high as it wants to go. Exhale, and once again, hands to your heart, pivoting over into ragdoll. Take a moment there, lift your hips, get those hamstrings on the back of your legs stretching, and hands to your shins into the halfway up stretch. Get a good lengthening, breathe, shoulder blades towards your waist, and head reaching away from your sitting bones. Exhale, hands to the floor, bending your knees. And remember, you can also put a block there if you need to raise the floor. And once more, left foot this time stepping into your lunge. Both hips are even toward the floor, both shoulders are even toward the front. And you're stretching back through the heel, out through the crown, getting as nice and open as possible in your lunge. Knee over your ankle, don't let it sink to either side. Once more, knee down to the floor, just a little bit above the kneecap, not right on it, or put some cushioning there. Stay there if that's a good enough stretch for you. Slide those toes back maybe a little bit more. Feel this hip flexor getting a nice stretch, or a little bit more with the hands to your front knee. Stay there, or again, look up, chest forward, 
and a little bit more back bend, emphasizing again that stretch on the front of the left leg. Take a breath, just sink the hips evenly toward the floor. Make sure your knee isn't pushing in or out. And again, bringing your hands down and tucking your toes, lift back into lunge, keeping that hip nice and low. And then push forward and again, just release that hip area and relax your shoulders. Palms together, inhale. And to the heart. Oh, let's do another back bend just because they're wonderful. And stretch. And then exhaling, hands to your heart, coming back into mountain pose. Once more, just focus inward, feeling how that stimulation is working through your hips and pelvis, especially today. And we're going to go to the floor. So inhale, hands toward the ceiling, another nice back bend if you love them. And exhale all the way down into child's pose. So come on all the way to the mat. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment there, bringing your knees together for a low back stretch, or separate your knees and breathe easier. Take a moment and just feel that good stretch and that release through your hip area. And then inhaling, coming up, bring your legs out to the front, sitting bones slightly behind you and into staff position. So shoulders above your hips, spine stretching open, core active supporting you, and feet pressing away evenly out through the bottoms of your feet. And let's, let's do a little more with the hips first. So just that nice little hip warm up with the foot to your thigh and the knee coming down, just getting that hip rotator a little bit more activated and aware. We're gonna do one more thing that's kind of hip intense. So let the knee come down as far as it wants. You can bring this leg over to the side if that's gonna help you a little bit more. Always personal choices on how you're doing your hip work. And then bringing your leg up into your hands or wrapping up into your arms, pull it in as much as you like to get that hip rotator warming up. Bring it higher or closer if you need a little bit more activation in that area. And remember, personal practice. So we're just going to do what we need to do. And exhale, bringing that leg back out, feeling the difference. That's the yoga practice, remember, is observing how your body responds. Bring the other foot up. Again, that sitting down area behind you, you can elevate a little bit more if that helps open the pelvis more for you as well. Knee coming down, just breathing and relaxing into your position as much or as little as you need on this side. Just remember, things are relaxing, not pressure not forcing anything that tenses and tightens. We just want to let it release and get a little bit more open through the hip. And then again, bringing the leg up and either holding it in or just hanging on and moving it back and forth so that outside of the hip is getting a little bit more energized and ready to work. So that fluid needs to warm up, giving you a little bit extra movement in that area. And then again, let's release that. We're going to come up into table position to start our next frog. So we're starting wrist elbows and shoulders lined up, knees and hips lined up. And then we're going to bring the knees way over to the sides, keeping the feet right where they were, right behind your sitting bones. And then slide your hands forward and bring your elbows down. And you can bring the elbows out to the sides of the mat if that feels more comfortable. And then we're gonna be a swimming frog this time. So push your hips way back toward your heels and then keep them as low as you can as you bring your whole torso body forward toward your hands. And then push back. And just imagine you're that frog swimming in the lake. Breathe with it. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, expanding forward or vice versa if that's better for your breathing.
Feel the hips, feel the legs. Notice what parts of your body are moving. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades always toward your waist. Keep those hips as low toward the floor as they want to be. And then as you push back, bring your elbows in if you have them out. Bring your knees back in, slide back up into table position. Slide over to the side and return into staff position. So once more, just observe your body, how that hip pelvis torso area has been maybe a little bit more activated as you come back into staff position. Feet hip width apart this time, make sure sitting bones a little behind you and we'll activate that core a little bit more today. So bring your heels in till your feet are flat on the floor. Remember a little roll in at the top of the thighs if you need to, to keep those knees straight up not spreading apart. So knees straight up, sitting bones slightly behind you and you're going to stay on the sitting bones as we work the core. So stretch out through the top of your body, heart nice and open, ribs in and up so that core is working. And then lean slightly back just a little bit so you feel that core activate a little bit more. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your hands, palms up just to keep your shoulders down. So you're on your sitting bones, you're not back on your sacrum, and you're gonna lift one foot just a little, or you can bring the shin parallel to the floor, or you can straighten the knee and stretch out through the base of your toes. So always personal practice doing what's right for your body. If that hip flexor top of your thigh area is feeling like it's working hard, you can bring that a little lower. It doesn't have to be parallel to the other thigh if that's not working for your body. You want to feel the core being a little bit more supportive. So shoulder blades down, head reaching out, and toes spreading apart through the base of the toes, whichever position you're in. And then bring that foot down. You can stay there and keep that core working, or you can sit up and give it a little break. Your choice. So take a moment and breathe. Feel that midsection of your body heating up maybe a little bit more. And of course, we're gonna balance the body and do the other one, yeah. So again, make sure those knees aren't spreading apart, straight up, feet nice and flat, heels pulling straight towards your sitting bones, shoulders, shoulder blades down with those hands, palms up. Lean back a little bit more with that core activated and supporting you. And again, you can go just a little with that foot off the floor, we're a little bit more, we're all the way straight. It's always whatever's working for your body today. So just breathe with it. Stretch out through the base of the toes, wherever your toes are, out through the crown as well. Feel that midsection doing a little bit more work. Lower your leg if that hip flexor kicks in too much. Take a few breaths and exhale the foot back to the floor. Again, you can stay there and work a little bit harder through the core or sit up and take your break. Always whatever's right for your body today. And you know what we're going to do next. Both legs together, it's more intense. So always choose what's right for your body. Core activated, get those ribs working in and up so you feel those core muscles really a little contracted. Shoulders down, head reaching out, and both feet coming up. So stay there, or go a little further, or straighten the knees and stretch out through the base of the toes, or hold your toes and take a little bit out of those hip flexors as you reach out through the bottoms of your feet and straighten the knees. Still on your sitting bones, remember, not rolling back on your sacrum, or you might roll all the way onto your back. You can bring your feet apart if you want. It's always whatever's working in your body. Take a moment. If you're vibrating, you can put your feet back down or you can do a little bit more. And then when you're ready to release, feet to the floor and slide those legs out, sitting bones back. Exhale and a nice little release through those hip flexors at the top of your thighs. Stretch out through your head, toes pulling back. Reach your hands toward your feet. 
And if you'd like a nice stretch on your back, you can bring your forehead down towards your legs. And then inhale and sit up, feel those hips. Again, a little bit more activated. And we'll do our favorite diving dolphin. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side, sitting bone slightly behind you. And then bend your left knee, bring that heel back near your hip as much as it wants to go. Stretch your spine apart. We're going to twist toward that first knee you bent, so over toward the right. Hands on your leg or the floor, your choice. And we're going to pull those ribs back. Exhale, dive your dolphin under the water. Exhaling all the way down. And face forward, lifting the heart, coming up as you breathe in. So get the whole range of motion in your spine as you dive your dolphin under the water, exhaling, and then inhaling as you come up to the sun in the sky. So just allow this back hip to be as up high as it needs to be to allow you to go through your range of motion, through your spine, feeling your lungs working with you, exhaling, emptying your lungs, Inhaling, filling on the way up. Shoulders and shoulder blades go toward your waist pretty much the whole time. And you want to make sure that you're not putting a lot of pressure in your hands wherever they are, just letting that spine move as much as it needs to for your dolphin to dive. And then the next time you're coming up, pause at the top, exhale around back to the center, and release your legs. Feel the spine more activated after that dive, but our dolphin wants to go back where it came from, so yeah, we gotta do the other side. So once again, sitting bones a little back, left foot to the inner right thigh, or the opposite of whatever you did if you did it the other way. And once more, bend that knee, bring that heel in as close toward the hip as it wants to go. This hip will probably come up a little bit, that's okay, because we want to be able to twist our whole body. Stretch the spine apart, exhale, and turn to that left knee. So this hip is up so that you've got that twist going. Pull the ribs back as you exhale, and dive your head down toward your knee. And rotate the face a little toward the front, but still keep stretching your neck as you inhale up. And let your dolphin be as diving playful as it wants to be on this side. Just notice if your body is maybe a little bit different on each side, because we do tend to be creatures of habit and get one side tighter usually than the other. So just notice and work both sides as evenly as you can in your yoga practice. So again, just diving down, inhaling up, being your playful dolphin as you move through the ocean, going back to where you started. And after your next dive down, just come up inhaling, lifting your heart way high to the sky. And exhale, turning back to the center and releasing into staff position. Nice energy through that spine and into your head as we get ready for our final brief twist and relaxation. So come on all the way down onto your back. Let your body relax briefly on that surface beneath you and bring your arms to T position, palms up or down, your choice. Sitting bones toward your heels, pressing your back down, heels coming in toward your hips, and press your back down, lift your feet, knees right above your hips. Just a quick roll over to the side for that final twist, knees coming toward the floor as far as they want for your lower back, head turning the opposite way for your neck, and just keep those shoulders down, let that middle back get a good twist as well. Take a couple breaths, just exhaling and relaxing into the twist. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and get ready to twist the other way. So straighten things out if you need to, and then roll the knees over to the opposite side, head turning the other direction. And again, shoulders down, middle back twist, head turning, 
That's your neck. Be gentle if you need to. And just let those knees come as far toward the floor as they want. Take a moment to breathe. Relaxing as you exhale. And when you're ready to release again, hips, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back and feet to the floor. Slide into corpse position. Hands, palms up slightly away from your hips and feet relaxing, kind of straight up toward the ceiling, knees as well. Shoulders down, let those ribs expand as you breathe. And let your body sink deep into that surface beneath you as it relaxes. And just scan through your body, lots of hip work, torso work today, let everything release and relax, deepening into that earth connection. And as your body relaxes, just let awareness of your body release from your mind. As those thoughts disappear, no other thoughts will come to you. It's always the job of your thoughts to keep producing more ideas. Just let them go. There's no need for your mind to think of the past or anticipate the future. No problems to solve, nothing to do. Just drifting as easily as your breath, thoughts flowing in and flowing out. Let the past go. Forget what's going to happen next. Just let your body sink into the earth and your mind float free like your breath. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward and find the peace to fill your body and your mind. And just be peace. Of course, if you can keep relaxing longer, stay as long as you have time to do today. Or else, if you're ready for preparing for the rest of your day, begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving however feels good for your body today. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, Heels toward your hips, press your back down and draw those knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate all its hip work today and spine work every day in yoga. And then feet and head to the floor, rolling to the side, sit back up and get ready for the day ahead. Thanks for joining me.